to this what the day and this wonderful debate you're about to experience. <laughs> um, this is Loving the Skin I'm In, where we always try to promote loving ourselves as black people. And as always, we welcome everybody from all walks of life to join in to either agree, disagree, learn something new, or hell, even maybe teach us something new. But always our job and goal to promote the understanding and the love of black people. Now, um, I am your host, Demetra K. Coulter, or D. And then we have Mr. Donovan Sadiq. Who um, obviously doesn't like his lunch very much because I'm about to eat it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, um, do you want to say something before you're hungry? All right, wait. You messed my intro up. Number one, I am Donovan Sadiq. The the will throw a rock and then hide my hand and even run out of the neighborhood if I have to. But I'm going to get the facts out. And guess what? I am ready to rumble. All right. Well, we're going to hear about that. And how about this? We let the listeners and the viewers decide who actually won. Okay. If, if you want to do that. It's fair, mean, because, I, you know, like I said, now, remember, I don't want you crying after this whole debate. Oh, baby, ain't no crying right? and debating. There's no rematch. This is like Rocky. <laughs> there won't be no rematch. There won't be any of that. <laughs> ah. Well, so for the sake of time, we'll go ahead and get right into, get into it because it. we have, you know, a couple things we can talk about today. Sure. Hopefully we'll be able to get to all of them. But in this particular segment, we are going to debate your own boy, your friend from the Internet, Tommy Sotomayor. Now, um, I've taken copious notes. Because I know that Donovan is an expert on Mr. Sotomayor. And as a man, I have my newspaper. And if I have my toilet, that's all I would need. Uh, uh, your toilet with a bidet. With a bidet. So people, you have that's a right. Bidet. I'm not a barbarian. I, right. You know, okay, so, go ahead. I don't have a bidet. <laughs> okay. But anyway. Okay, so who exactly is Thomas Jerome <laughs> Harris? A.K.A. Tommy Sotomayor. And for you guys who are listening, you're like, who is this Tommy Sotomayor? Well, I'm going to give you a lot of information. And Donovan, please feel free to cut in as I'm going along. I have a lot of information for you. Okay, so Tommy Sotomayor is a youth sensation who has built a huge following by degrading and disrespecting black women. He often refers to them or us as bitches, (laughs) black bitches, whores, and hats, which is a woman who wears a weave. Just to name a few lovely pronouns, all right? His M.O. is to show isolated clips of black women doing some of the most deplorable things, and then he turns them into a narrative to fit his agenda. Am I wrong so far? Uh, Go on, continue. Okay, all right. However, in addition to his legion of black male supporters, he has, right, he does have a copious amount of black women supporters, right? So in all fairness, ever since he's gotten some backlash... Um, from people proclaiming not all black women um, behave in such a manner, he has enlightened his stance by saying, "Okay, well, some black women." Right. However, because his you know speech about black women is so hateful, it's like null and void, right? <laughs> okay, so moving right along, <laughs> it should be noted that he refuses to show women of any other um, races in a negative light. Not he, true, but go ahead. Okay, um, he refers to white women as no queens. Mm-hmm. And I'm sure you can think of a couple other beautiful, wonderful, fluffy Becky names. with the nice hair. Becky with the nice hair. Right. And, you know, all of those lovely adjectives that describe these women, right? Okay. okay, so why is Tommy Sotomayor so vexed with black women? Well, there's a motive. Okay. Okay. Now, Thomas, or Tommy Sotomayor, mm-hmm. um, who is a man of uh, family, or, uh, and I got this from the internet, my research, um, his black female partner sent him to jail for missing out on child support as he didn't want to take financial responsibility for his child or children because he has two daughters, yes, right? two daughters. Two black daughters. That's right. Well, we'll get into that. All right. So ever since he has built a rage against black women. Am I wrong so far? Uh, it's well, a good narrative. Go ahead. Okay. All right. All it's right. Good narrative. So Tommy has made a whole host of videos highlighting the worst of black women. So I decided to showcase one of his latest videos, which you've seen. I've sent okay, it to and you. I, and, and we'll probably see it up here okay, on the screen. Yeah, as, a right. fact, as a matter of fact, we're, it's probably playing right now on the screen. Yeah, I didn't want you to walk into this blindly, sure. so I gave you a heads up. Sure. All right. So this video is titled, Black Women Do Not Love Their Black Children, and Here's Why. 
So I, you know, compiled his reasons. And he said, um, he states that black women choose not to have fathers in the home. Well, I want to go ahead and debunk that. All right. Per my research, 78.2. So let's just roughly say 80% of black fathers are in the home to some degree. Now, technically speaking, if you are not married, you are what? You're single. You're single. right. Right. But nowadays... And, you know, to be honest, especially in our community, a lot of people don't marry, but they do shack. So the father is involved. Um, is even, the father involved or is the boyfriend? If, it the, doesn't, if, if the boyfriend happens to be the child's father. No, no, but I'm talking about the boyfriend who isn't the child. Does that count? No, this is saying the father. Okay. But yes, I mean, I was um, I benefited from having a stepfather mm-hmm. who raised me uh, mm-hmm. in addition to my father. Right. So it's twice as nice. Right. Mm-hmm. And my stepfather, my daddy was black. Okay. All right. Now, it says, just, just give you a number here. A 78.2 uh, of black fathers feed or eight meals with children daily, opposed to 73.9 white men and 63.9 Hispanic men. So, black men in all. See my chart. See, I'm not lying. Perhaps you could put this up, you know. Uh, I, I could probably put it up, but okay. it also goes by what source you're using. But go ahead. Uh, okay. I'm, I'm going to get to that. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, the source that I use. It was per the National Center for Health. Oh, right there. It's not. Totally it's throw no, that out. Throw it's that like out. It's a black people organization. Right. You know, so you yeah, you and Tommy can debunk it. <laughs> yeah, this is some out. white people stuff saying, you know. Yeah, it's white. Right. Yeah, it, yeah. Okay. So Charles Blow of the New York Times, you've heard of him. You've seen him on MSNBC and a couple of other um, shows. Fake I'm re- news. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's fake news because we're debunking your boy. <laughs> All right. So, um he reports, you know, I think this is why my microphone makes noise is rubbing against my, um, my, my face, my black face. Oh, oh. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. All right, so he reports that some of these men have children by more than one woman, but they can only live in one home at a time. This phenomenon is that a father can live with some, but not all of his children. Okay, and then it says um, these men are serial impregnators. Okay. Now, why doesn't Tommy talk about those guys? I mean, but you don't have to answer. I'm just, you know, asking a question. Okay. Um, but he says, but I, I think something more than promiscuity and irresponsibly, uh, irresponsibility are at play here. Also, about 2.5 million fathers living with their children, opposed to 1.7 who are 1.7 million who are not. So more black fathers are living with their children than or somebody's not. children. Or does it matter? I mean, because like I said, I had a stepdaddy. I called that. No, 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 no. You had a stepdad. We're talking about if the boyfriend moves in there. Like I said, I'm not trying to change your narrative, but I'm saying. But a black father is in the home. Just because he's in the home doesn't mean he's a father. Okay, but this is this because per the National Center of you Health. You have these girls that just have babies and they've broken up with the fathers and they've already moved in with the boyfriend. Okay, but let's, let me ask you this. Why Why is the onus only on the women? I'm going to get to that when you get finished. All right, with the okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Thank you. <laughs> and so he also explains that the wildly popular statistic of over 70% of black women are single mothers. He says that even though the women are not married, they still live with the father of their children. So technically speaking, they are single because they are not married. Correct. All right. Now, let me, let me inter- intercede Go here real right quick. Ahead, brother. Uh, the, you know, you're making it sound like these women have their own shacks and their own places, but... Uh, by the rules of Section 8, you're not supposed to live with a man in the home. So how 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 can those numbers even the, be Okay, right? but th- who's to say that the women, these women are all on Section 8? No, no, I didn't say all, but, okay. but, but based on your numbers, uh-huh. I bet you a lot of those numbers have to deal with women that are on Section 8 and getting assistance. And if that is the case, let's just say 25, let's just take 25% mm-hmm. of those people out. The man's not supposed to be there in the beginning, so you're not dealing with women okay, that have their own Okay, but we know, let's just keep it real. Okay. Have you ever um, gone, gone to the drive-in? Yes. Have you ever snuck somebody into the drive-in? Never. Have you ever gone to the movie? See, I know you're No. Have no. you ever snuck a, even a, a, a peanut M&M in your pocket? No. You've always paid those people? I've always paid okay, those people. Okay, so you're an anomaly. Well, we, well, well wait, 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 because I know a lot of people are saying, oh, he's talking bullshit. I was raised <laughs> a military kid. What okay. I did affected oh, well, my let parents. let me keep it real with you. So for me. All right. That's a true Let statement. me keep it real with you. Okay. I've gone into the movies and okay. I've taken my own food. Okay. All right. I don't know if you, if you know, right. I'm going to go to jail for that, but I'm right. keeping it real with you. So what I'm making is, yeah, there are rules. Mm-hmm. Section A says that a man can't live in a home with a woman, but we know that 
Right. Well, did you see Claudine? The movie? Yes, of course. Was a man? Excellent was it? Was there a man there? Yes, there was. All right, so we know rules are, made, are broken every right, day. Right, right. But what I mean is statistically, I'm not even using mm-hmm. what your number was eighty percent, right? Yeah. I, I said let's just take twenty five percent of that okay. and throw that out. But that's if you take twenty five percent away from eighty is what? Uh, sixty no fifty five fifty five. So that's more than half. no no. But oh. I'm just saying. But, but, right. but, but let's be fair because like I said, according to the rules, they're not supposed to be to begin with. So now we've got. But we know that they're there though. Yes, but. But then again, we also got women who are not following the rules, and I'm paying for okay, it. Okay, so listen, ahead. would you rather the woman not follow the rules and the man not be in the home yes. where the father can be very influential over the child, life of his child? The, so you would prefer the, her? To- the bottom line is the man should take care of his responsibilities right. regardless of the situation. Okay, but again, so I know you're trying to throw a little money no, in. No. Try it no, no, no. Eat your no, lunch. no, no, you can eat my lunch. But what I'm saying is, in a scenario like that, uh-huh. I'll, always remember, even in particular, I was raised in a bubble of a military thing to where right. rules are rules. So I'm going to look at it from a different perspective. Rules are okay, rules. Okay, I got you, brother. Okay. So that's what I'm going to you in mind. I keep on go, with the facts here. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right. But nice try, though. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Number two. Number, dang, we're only on number two. I, I'm just saying because okay, you know ahead. I want to make sure I do a good job. I don't want to just All be right. on here talking bad, bad about your boy. Okay, you know. Like I said, uh, the whole first hour we're going to be dealing with these D- facts. But go ahead. Hey, they're not my facts. They're okay. just facts that I found. Hey, this is loving the skin I'm in. We're trying to get to the bottom. All right, we're gonna break it. We're gonna tie it all together. Okay. All right, and I'll try to move this along a little bit sure. faster. Okay, so we he says we have children. That black women have children with men who ain't shit. These are his words. Okay. Um, they're gangbangers, deadbeats, and drug dealers. All right, let me go into my facts on part two here. So while that might be true, doing that is not exclusive to black women. Mm-hmm. Question, was your dad a gangbanger? Like I told you, a my, drug dealer? My dad was in the military. Go ahead. No, he wasn't a deadbeat. Nope. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. So my dad was none of those things either. All right. Now, one of the most notable white women in the world happens to be the third baby mama of leader of the free, free world. world. Yes. Right? I agree. Now, how did she become the third baby mama? Uh, doing porn and uh, so-called modeling. Was quote, she a quote. mistress? Uh, matter of fact, she was. And was the... She was home. Was the lady that she was the mistress to also a mistress? I believe so. Oh. Her man wasn't shit either. Well, we know that. We can see oh, what okay, he's doing. Oh, okay, so I'm saying the point that I'm trying to draw here mm-hmm. is that that's not you to uh, black women. Okay, that, that, that's right, a good example. Okay, mm-hmm. that, moving along. See, okay. we, got, we, we agreed to that very quickly. We're going to get done with this faster <laughs> than I thought. Number three, he says, black women choose to have children with uh, men who are financially unstable. Therefore, we have to live in the ghetto on Section 8 while having more children. That is a street sweep. You know, just drudge up the statistics. And this is for Alabama, right? Mm-hmm. At least 16% of white children live in poor families. Yes. So, at some point in time, 16% of white people, in, let's say just in Alabama, mm-hmm. those women, per Tommy Sotomayor's argument, chose a man who was uh, financially unstable, right? Right. So, that's not, again, that's not a thing that's exclusive to black women. Go ahead. I'm, can I'm, I get a, can I, I amen? No, I'm not going to amen that. Can I get a dap? No, you can't oh, okay. get a dap on that. <laughs> Because I'm just waiting for you to finish your narrative because, like I said, I can answer all of that. Okay. No, I don't want to be dishonest here. Okay. Now, 45% of black children live in poor families. So what? That's triple us. Black people opposed to white people. Mm -hmm. Now, it is expected that blacks in Alabama are on... um, the poverty, um, high on the poverty list due to um, living in a one, one of the most race cards, y'all. Okay, race Most card. racist Deal states it. in America. Is that the truth or not? Say that again. We know that Alabama is one of the most racist yes. states. Jeff so, Sessions from there, yes. So there's a lot of things that black people have to go through just to even buy a right. freaking peanut. All right, let's right. move around. I'm almost done here. I'm, okay. I'm almost done, brother. Now, black women, number four, black women don't march for murdered children, but will protest him. That is one narcissistic dude. But here, let me move right along to the facts. <laughs> Sabrina Fulton, mother of Trayvon Martin. Yes. Gwen Carr, the mother of Eric Garner. Geneva mm. Reed Veal, the mother of Sandra Bland. Cleopatra uh, Pendleton Cowley, the mother of Hadia Pendleton. Mm. Maria Hamilton, the mother of DeAndre Hamilton. And Lucy McBath, the mother of Jordan Davis. You know who those are? Mo- uh, mothers of the murder. The kids. mothers of the movement. The mothers who have marched against murdered black children Not and true. the people, the children that I. <laughs> Not true. Some of them have physically gone out there and marched, but those but, but women, the majority haven't. Uh, Trayvon Martin's mom started to make a rap CD. 
How did we forget that? Okay, but I think she would rather be rapping about something else opposed to the murder of her child. She didn't rap about the murder okay, of her child. Okay, but even if she's getting on there talking about happy birthday and ABCs and one, two, threes, mm. she is still prevalent. And you cannot say you've never seen this woman talk, speak out about the wholesale murder of our children by the police. I've seen her do that in, in support of Hillary Clinton. Okay, but even before then, you've seen her do it because mm-hmm. I've seen her. I've seen her. And Sandra Bland's mama... All of these other and, Michael and, Brown and, and, and they let Hillary Clinton uh, okay, use them. I agree. I mean, you are total okay. agreement on that. Like but I said, the point because is, because, but because my point is, you don't stand with a person who basically initiated the agree. environment of her son I getting mean, you killed. Agree, we agree. But okay. is did I just the book? Yes. What he? No, you did not. I did because he said black mothers don't march for murdered children. I just list named. But he also says it's a, it's a general statement. In general, you take you take okay, those do you five. Know what in general means? Yes, I did. It means more. Um, all in general covers all. Yeah, all. Google it. Five five women is an all. But okay, we come on. I'm just saying. You don't think Emma Till's mama was, you know, back in the 50s, she marched over the death of her son? Yeah, she sure did. Okay, so we, that's a whole lot of years that went by, mm-hmm. and it's not just the women. There's a right. lot of women. Right, okay, so we're, we're, what have they been doing in the news or uh, lately since? Um, I don't watch TV, so I don't know, but the point that I am is his statement is false. But, okay. On just, the, even just naming those six women that we've Fine. publicly seen march for murdered black but, children. But I just, I just, just well, you just acknowledge some of what he said only march when they're going to get when they're thirsty for Kool-Aid. You really? Really. So you mean to tell me that why would you march with a lady who promoted I, you a, know an what? environment? I agree, I agree. Hillary Clinton. Listen y'all, me and him agree. <laughs> Hillary Clinton don't give a damn about black people but yet either. She, but yet they're up there. We right. support well, Hillary you know, and all this other stuff. What did they get out of it? Don't get me wrong. I don't have a problem with you doing it. Did you get paid? Well, did you get paid? In all fairness, did black men support Hillary too? Uh, I don't know any of those. You black know men. damn well I don't know they any black did. Because I know I did. Please. Didn't. I know I didn't. Okay, you didn't. But didn't. a lot of a lot of black people supported Hillary Clinton. Who? But then she blames the black people for not enough of them coming out to well, vote. Well, she also called our children super predators, right? And made you know it possible for our black men um, and children to go to jail for a very long time right. when you know white people weren't doing it. So yeah, I mean we agree, brother. But the point that I'm making is that's not a true statement that he said that black women don't march for murdered black children. In general, they don't. That's not true. It is true. That's not. It is okay, true. Okay, we don't call, we're just going to draw down the line here and yes. just say we, we're not going to agree, but Be, you guys because, right. Because you have to look at the statistics of what you're looking at. You take California, and, let, and, and let's take not a known person on a national on a national level, okay? So... Let's say Chicago. All that killing that's going on in Chicago, how many mothers are out there protesting? A lot. A lot. A very lot. See, that's the problem, though, with the media. And I'm glad we're Mm -hmm. having this conversation. Mm -hmm. The media is rarely going to show you. Have you ever heard of New Era Chicago? Mm -hmm. There's plenty of black mothers out there uh, marching murdered black children. How come their voices aren't being heard on the national level? You know why? Because Where are the Democrats at? Wait, 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 wait. Listen, the Democrats, the, don't give, the Democrats don't give a damn about black people, Republicans, none of those we agree. people. We agree about we agree that. that. You know why we don't see that? Because black people, as Dr. Claude Anderson says, owns less than 3% media. Yes. So if we don't own any media, our narrative is Wait not going to get out Wait a minute. There. Corrine Brown. No, not, not Corrine Brown. Your girl, Corrine That Brown. are queens. Uh, yeah, Cheryl Brown. <laughs> Owner of the Voice newspaper, that was the Black Voice newspaper. She changed it to the Voice because she bought in. Right. Well, and that's what a lot of those older. Why isn't she reporting it? You just said it to you answered your own question. She bought in, and that's what a lot of these Black leaders who were once, but you know, Cheryl Brown's newspaper is the longest Black publication in, in America. America. Mm-hmm. Why would you take the word Black off of your new your publication where you can you can represent? I'm not saying that she don't. I haven't read the newspaper. She doesn't. In fact, my mother used to write for her newspaper. Right. Um, but why would you take the name that's synonymous with your community, with your community. off? Why? Because like you said, she bought into the establishment who sounds like it gave her a lot of money, which happened to help her get unseated as an assemblywoman for Sam, uh, San, San Bernardino. Bernardino. Mm-hmm. So I, I agree with you. But as long as we only own less than 3% of media, our narrative is going to get swept under the rug. And I have white news outlets and media outlets um, telling you that black people don't march, black people mm-hmm. don't care. Well, why don't black people care about black lives? Where does black lives matter when it comes to black? Then you gonna hear all yes, of that. Absolutely, but that's why we started a show like this because right. I plan to take over 
whole media landscape. You go, boy, and so. I plan to be right with you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so like, my last point here as far as your boy, Tommy Sotomayor. Mm-hmm. Um, black women are more mad about black and dating white women than they are about educating our children. Damn right. Why should they be happy? All right. Why should black men be happy with the choices they make and who's going to make them happy? How dare they? My answer is this. <laughs> That's a lie. The end. Okay. That's a lie. Okay. <laughs> really? Really. We, we, we were more mad about black men. White women and educating that, that, that those two issues don't even belong on the same side of the street. Well, wait, wait. What, what the re- listeners don't understand and what the viewers don't see is this woman here is dating <laughs> a very <laughs> handsome, tall, six foot four, just ooh, brother. Okay. Don't let this man sit up here and try to fool you. One thing about D is, she, 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 there's no <laughs> middle ground with her. Either she's dating an extremely dark brother, or she's dating a light brother. But guess what? <laughs> yeah, guess what? The, guess what? The active word in is and brother. Just, brother, brother, right? Okay. okay. Right, so right. that's that's just a lie. We, yeah, we I, we I just wanted to throw that out there. We don't care more about hitting people, black men dating white women. Than that is so stupid. Well, stupid. Well, you tell me you don't agree. You, you don't I, I, agree. I, 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 I'm gonna have to like disagree with what. what if that's his connotation, mm-hmm. but it is, it's just the connotation, same thing as what, what I get. I get all the time, I look like I date white women. I don't get that from black men. I get it from black women. Well, I mean, yeah. and I Because like, I got a pointy nose. Really? Well, what does that got to do with anything? Because you got a pointy nose. <laughs> what does that do with anything? very ignorant. Yeah. It, because it, you got a pointy nose. I have, <laughs> I have, you know, Caucasian features, so it looks like I'm more apt to date white women. That is very silly. I don't even know how to even... Like Humpty Hump that. said in the 69 months, my pointy nose will tickle your ear. Well, maybe that... Oh, maybe they know. figured he wanted it to tickle one. I don't know. I, I don't so. even know how to defend that or okay, even no. answer that. But so, yeah. so ending this little whole thing here. Mm-hmm. So basically, he's saying that um, if black women love their children, they wouldn't do the aforementioned things. Okay. All right. Now, I just want to ask a question. Get into my notes. Get into your notes. And then we're done here. And then, you know, you can defend your book, you know? Because <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm ready to defend it. And do it. Yes. But I want you to ask, answer this question, Mr. Sadiq. Yes. How can Tommy talk about black women not loving their children mm-hmm. when he served jail time for not paying his child support in 2009? That's Don't good... you love your children? Yes. By paying child support? No, not necessarily. That has nothing to do with Why love. do you need to have your black ass taken to jail? Now, if you ain't paying your child support and you go to jail, that means you are in a region. That is a good point. And guess what? We're going to uh, go into that as we take a break real quick All because right. uh, we are running out of battery power here. And I want to make sure that we get this conversation because I'm about to it cut this out person out. Power, you try to Google some stuff. No, 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 no. I'm about here. to get into it and, and, and put this to rest. You do it. For the rest of of the time. Do it. This is Love in the Skin. I'm in Donovan Sadiq. And D Coulter is DK. And when I say DK, she is killing it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. Oh, I'm ready for you. I'm ready. I got that DK. She's killing it. She is killing it. They're going to be like, they are crazy as hell, okay? I, 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 I thought I charged that. <laughs> when I saw that to 18, I was like, wait a minute. Like, what's really going on? I don't know who that was to call me, but. What kind of thing? Is she throwing all these questions that where I can't even answer? <laughs> Jeez. Hi, Dale. Did you bring anything back? I hey, Chris in the freezer. Yeah. Okay, you yeah. get it. Well, I'll come back when you get out of your class. All right, look. Look. You got a what? Here. Here. Oh, I'll be home. I have to go to the physical. Uh, oh, by my house? Um, uh, I don't know if I'll be back at 2.15 because I have to go to physical therapy, too. As soon as mom's done with her reading, she I 